Coming up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Valentina Shevchenko and Alexa Grasso. So here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight contender looking to become the new UFC Women's Flyweight champion here tonight. And most people believe she has all the skills in the world to get the job done and change the complexion of this division moving forward. Let's see what type of championship performance she can put forth here tonight. So here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, all smiles as she makes the walk here tonight, looking to go out the way she came in as the undisputed champion at 125 pounds. Most people believe it is gonna take a huge effort from one of these fellow contender types to dethrone this UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Let's see how she does in this defense here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexa Grossa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Ishkek, Kyrgyzstan. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, here we go with round one. Most people are not expectant of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling, but these two women have told us don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. Ooh, big shot to the body. Nice kick there by Grosser. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. Gets the elbow up into the target. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Nice. They're certainly getting after it early. 
So how about that? She stuffs another takedown. That has really been a key for her, her defensive wrestling in this fight. She really made it a focus during training camp. I cannot be taken down. And it's shown that all the hard work in the training room is paying dividends. My goodness. Oh. Oh, straight right. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexa Grasso. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Effective punch there by Shevchenko. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Oh, nice. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're gonna give her headgear between rounds, she better start raising that guard. She's gotta start doing something, but it's a testament. To oh, some I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges. And she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Punch over the top. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And there comes the separation now. Way to hide that leg kick. And there it is. So her best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown attempts finally gets her coming down for the first time. Today. It feels like she gave up on getting the takedown, so it started to flow more naturally. Like she was not forcing her entries anymore, just let it come to her, and now she's got the takedown to speak for. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the okay, course of that round. Ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Nice punch by Valentina Shevchenko. Big power shot there. Big leg kick land. Shevchenko's kick is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting, and your jab is landing, your opponent's landing more dominant strikes. All right, back to the clinch we go, and an immediate trip there to get the takedown. So really a case of pick your poison when you're in a clinch setting with this fight. Oh, she does such a great job of overwhelming you and giving you way too much to process that before you know it, you're on your back from a beautiful trip like that. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Grosso's back in full now. Yes. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Oh, how about that reversal? 
Nice up higher there, champ. That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Well, more often than not, when he has struck, he has landed 86 total, total strikes. Straight punch fire there, DC, and now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish the night. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one. Oh, look at that. Off the kick and takes her to the dump. Puts her right on her back. Great job running her feet, dumping her opponent to her butt on the kick down the tip off that nice kick. Oh, with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. All right, round three coming up next. She holds on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Oh, big knee! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Big double leg, level change. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Grosso. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, beautiful scramble by her there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the seat. Big kick lands. Try to establish that jab. It's such a fast leg kick. a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of... Oh, oh. And just like that, the fight is over. <laughs> that was just a near-perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm going to take my career to the next level, I've got to get the knockout win here tonight. Mission accomplished. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion of the World. What a knockout turned in by this 125-pound phenom here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the third round. We play the winner by There's nothing like it when we crown a new champion tonight. That's what we do in the UFC women's flyweight division. And uh, here we go. Her era is now underway. I mean, her era is underway. And we did not expect this result. We thought she was in for an uphill battle. But she got it done, man. What a performance to take the title away from a great champion. You did not expect it. You did not.